looking for a powerful yet free alternative, then you're definitely in the right video. Today, we're diving deep into Podium, an AI-powered code completion tool that is free and packed with features. So let's check it out. So Codium is a, an AI-powered code completion tool that supports over 70 languages and it integrates wonderfully with all the popular IDEs and other niche ones. And the best part of it, it is completely free for individual users. Now, let's deep dive into the main differences between Codium and GitHub Copilot, because after all, this is kind of why you're here. Essentially, they both offer the same basic feature, which is AI code completion. There are some differences that are worth noting. Well, the obvious one and the one I've already mentioned is the cost. While GitHub Copilot charges around 10 bucks per month for individual users, uh, Codium is completely free and full featured for individual users. There are plans for uh, companies and, and larger teams, obviously, but those also have a very competitive pricing range. So it, they're also worth checking out in, you know, in those scenarios. In terms of supported languages, they both support all the major ones, but Codium goes uh, one step farther, uh, reaching up to 70 languages, several of which uh, are not really supported by GitHub Copilot. So whether you're, you're coding JavaScript, Python, Java, uh, or even some niche ones, Codium has you covered really. And the same goes for the integration with IDEs. Uh, they both integrate with the popular ones like VS Code, JetBrains, but Codium goes one step farther again, and it takes it up to uh, another less known and maybe more niche IDEs like in Jupyter Notebooks, making it a very versatile choice when it comes to uh, the integration for this tool and also uh, reaching a wider range of developers. In terms of performance and accuracy, uh, they both uh, offer fantastic code completion, while some developers have claimed that the, uh, the type of completion that is provided by Codium is more contextual, which is very useful and comes in very handy when you're working on larger code bases. If you're looking for something that is uh, more context aware, um, project aware, if you will, then Codium is definitely the way to go. Now, one uh, of the unique features provided by Codium and not by uh, GitHub Copilot is the in-IDE search. Through, uh, through Codium, you can use natural language to find code snippet, bits of the documentation within your project. In terms of privacy and data security, Codium also shines. While GitHub Copilot is known for using the user data for its, uh, for its training, uh, on the other hand, Codium is known for not collecting any user data, essentially. If you're working on a private project uh, or within you know, the company and you cannot really share your or access these type of tools because you would be sharing proprietary code with other companies, then Codium is the right choice because they don't really take any of that as part of their training process. And on top of that, uh, Codium also offers uh, features some of, some of which are also part of GitHub Copilot, some of them aren't, like uh, an AI chatbot to request code changes uh, within the context of a project. The ability to automatically create unit tests and also um, API integrations uh, directly from within the IDE. In summary, essentially, while GitHub Copilot is a very solid tool, Codium offers a very comparable and in some cases even superior offer for a monthly fee of $0. Uh, at least for individual users. And leaving the pricing scheme aside, Codium offers a very solid privacy aware solution that is equally useful for individual users or large teams uh, in, inside a company. Now, let me show you how you can get Codium up and running on your system, shall we? Uh, while you can test Codium within your browser with a playground, I think that the best way to, to test it is directly inside your IDE. I'm gonna show you how do you do this for VS Code, you can check out their documentation and their website for information on how to do it uh, with your own IDE. All right, so within VS Code, we're going to open the extension section and simply search for Codium.
and Winches. I'm gonna click on install. Immediately after installation, the extension is going to take us to Codium's website to sign up essentially for free. I'm just gonna use my Google. Now we're taken back to the website to provide the authentication token. So just follow the instructions, copy the token, then we open the command template and select that option. Codium, here we go. And simply paste that. So Codium is more than just a code completion tool. Now that we have it installed, yeah, I can, we can also uh, use the features such as the chatbot for AI assisted coding. For example, I can just click here and I can open up the chat with it. I can do IntelliSearch, uh, which lets me search my uh, code base through natural language queries. And also I have the ability to generate unit tests and integrate APIs directly within the ID. I'm going to show you some of these features. So first, let's just uh, do a quick Python test here. I'm going to calculate a factorial, factorial of n. And you can see how I'm already being shown options and the code already works. Now, I can already ask it to explain to me the function that it just created. And I have here the, the explanation even of the factorial uh, algorithms. I can generate the code doc strings for my function and it gives me documentation, which also includes the examples and so on. I can accept it, reject it, or follow up, meaning request changes or updates. So I just accept it here. And now I have my doc strings. So now we can say uh, we want to create the automatically create our unit test. So let's just ask it to create unit tests for, and I can add go to block directly in the chat. So I can say add calculate Factoria, which also shows me that I missed the, uh, the final L on the name, but because I'm directly uh, linking it to the function that I have on my file inside my project, it knows it has the context of my project. So it knows it's a Python file and it knows um, how to write essentially the test for a Python uh, function. And it also gives me uh, uh, a note, the fact that saying that, you know, calculate factor doesn't really handle negative inputs or non-integer uh, inputs. So, um, so it's also a suggestion as to how to improve it. So I can just um, copy it here and then create my own file here and say uh, test. Factorial.py and test import calculate factorial. Yeah. So now I have uh, my code ready to be tested. Let's take it one step farther now and see how uh, we can use uh, Codium to integrate an existing project with Semaphore's CI CD. So this is a very basic Node.js example using Express, creating an API that responds to he with Hello World to every request in the root path, nothing too complicated. Now we're going to be using Codium to ask it to create the necessary YAML file to integrate our code into a CI CD pipeline on Semaphore. So for that, we can trigger the chatbot, clicking here in the chatbot um, button, and then we can type something like generate Semaphore CI configuration template for my Node.js application. And I automatically get my template file, which also tells me where I need to, uh, to save it. So I'm just going to copy here. It also explains exactly what each of these um, elements does within the file. So I'm just going to create the folder. 
and inside it the same for YAML file. This is the starting template. Eventually, after configuration and after everything we need, we get we get this file. Now let's go to Semaphore and let's test the build. Let's create a new project. We're going to choose a repository and I have already here the repo ready. Here we just pick, I will use the existing configuration file because uh, we already got that from Codium with a little bit of editing ourselves. And that's it. We have uh, the app set up ready. And now we can just go back to the code, do a little change. For example, let's say by world instead of hello. I do a quick update on GitHub. GitHub index. Git commit. Trigger. Deploy. And then say git push or initiate manual. And we can go back to semaphore. And we can see automatically that it has picked up the push and is already running the CI pipeline. Um, so essentially everything that we wanted, thank you to a quick template given by Codium. So in conclusion, uh, Codium is a powerful and free alternative to GitHub Copilot that is packed with features that are meant to boost your productivity, either through code completion, through chat, bot, or even through its ability to have context around your project and your code base to uh, create even more accurate uh, completions. So whether you're coding, testing or deploying, Codium has your back. So give it a try with the link I'm going to leave in the description. And if you do, leave a comment in the video and tell us what you think about it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more awesome content like this one.